heavyweight title fight between Thomas Almeida and Bruce Lee. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? for this, our main event of the evening. Two years apart, these two fighters with the same height and a similar reach. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. It's what is it is Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out Los Angeles, California, presenting the challenger, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 22 wins, three losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Thomas Tominhas. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. Ready. Well, the tension is palpable as this fight gets underway, and it'll be interesting to see how this matchup plays out. Definite striker on one side against another guy who can really do it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Real sneaky body kick. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Look at him whip his hip into that kick.
nice body kick right under the elbow. Beautiful strike. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Two minutes have expired off the first round clock. That knee, knee lands there. That knee hurt him. He went high on that one. Big power punch lands. Now he gets back to range. There by Lee. Oh, as he lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now we have to find one more strike at the end of the night. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Thomas Almeida. Almeida gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Bez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't... How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Lee gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Look at the turnover in that kick. Right hand on the counter. Liver kick. And now he's got the tie clinch. Nice job by the veteran there to counter with a jab to the head. Strong work on the feet by Lee. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. Do not back up. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Left hand punch into clinch. Oh, good knees tearing into that midsection. Well, showing no signs of slowing down. 41 total strikes have landed for Thomas Almeida. Well, the number's not all that efficient. 43% the accuracy rate against Brazil's Thomas Almeida. That was a nice strike. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Made it going for the body. Miss with that kick. 90 seconds now to go in the round.
like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Thomas Almeida. Oh! So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Almeida gets tattooed by that straight punch. And he landed the right hand there. And that's the end of round number two. All right, that is the end of the round, and the cut on his lip has gotten really, really bad. And at this point, you at least have to ask the question as to whether or not it's affecting his breathing. I think if this cut gets any worse, the doctor's going to have no choice but to step in, protect the fighter, and stop the fight. All right, so there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week, and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He's got a chance. He took it. He landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Blocks that kick to the body. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. Oh. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, hammer fist here by Lee. Back to the feet now. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. His opponent's chin held up, but he does not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Ooh, big shot land. So 64 total strikes have landed for Thomas Almeida. And dipping just below 50%, by the way, 43%, the accuracy rate on the striking attempts against Thomas Almeida. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Well, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at 2 minutes, 56 seconds of round number 3. Going the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Ruth. So there he is, the new UFC heavyweight champion.